finished getting the bed set in yesterday. <clears throat> it's just sitting here. I pulled out the fiberglass fenders, put them on, and worked this alignment real carefully till that fiberglass panel that sits on this lines up perfectly. So the bed is exactly where I want it. So now we're ready to go ahead and attach the bed. So today is a pretty easy day. We're going to rivet these two pieces together, right? This piece is attached to the car. This piece is the bed. So we're going to rivet the dog snot out of that. There are several bolts that we run through to attach this panel to the fender well and the structure in here. And then there's a couple of bolts underneath that piece. Then we'll seal this up real well after we rivet from the front, I'll actually shoot some sealing in there and then put the rivets in so it kind of mushes it up and seals that forward edge real well. Then we fit this panel back in up front to the front of the bed wall. That hole, that hole is for access to the fuel tank later on if you need to. The pickup fits perfectly in and out of that hole. And then the bed will be secured and we're ready to start hanging fiberglass. So let's get to finishing this bed off today and hopefully tomorrow we can start hanging some fiberglass. There are a lot of rivets used in this kit and I usually substitute a few stainless steel rivets in for the aluminum rivets that are supplied with the kit. Cost of rivets is pretty low and there are a few places also where you can put in 5 16 bolts instead of using all rivets. So the kit is really a combination of all three of those fasteners plus adhesive. I like to put the 3M panel bond or at least seam sealer in all the seams. That keeps it from trapping water and keeps you from getting weird squeaks down the road. Due to some technical difficulties, I didn't get film of installing the flying buttress brace, but here you can see it riveted to the top rail of the bed and bolted to the top of the wheel arch or the inner fender. But before you put that piece in, you want to make sure you got everything sealed up underneath there. So that forward edge wall that you can see in here, I put a little shim across there, but you want to make sure you got everything sealed and everything out of there because once you put that cross brace on, access in there is pretty limited. Uh, so I'm going to give it one more vacuum, uh, double check all my sealing, and then go ahead and put that piece on. And then all we got left is the crossbars on the floor.
Well, that was a pretty big day, but we got it all done. The bed is on. Everything is fastened, everything is braced, floor braces in. By the way, this uh, kind of funny system on this back brace is so that you can take this off by hand and that Y bracket back here. You take this off by hand, slide it over, take this bar out so the spare tire lifts in and out uh, pretty much like normal, like if it's in your trunk. So that's what the wing nut and that weird Y brace is and why we didn't rivet and glue it in like we did this one because that one's got to be able to come out. Okay, but we are ready to start fitting fiberglass. Uh, this is really exciting stage, that next stage when it really starts looking like the car is going to look. Uh, but you got to be patient. Uh, if you get in a hurry and get one of those panels on and it's not quite straight, or you don't get it leveled out right and your seams come off and the, the door jam doesn't line up right or whatever, then it makes your body work a whole lot harder to make it look good. But that was an exciting day. Uh, I'm excited that this bed is on and really we've only put three days into this. So thanks for watching another episode.